Japan again accused Russia of occupying the Kuril Islands. Japan has reintroduced the phrase illegal occupation when they refer to the southern stretch of Russia's Kuril Islands. For the first time since 2018, the phrase was included in the statement that was adopted at the annual rally for the return of Northern Territories that was held in Tokyo and was attended by Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi, and some other government officials and lawmakers. It is completely unacceptable that the Northern Territories have yet to be returned since the Soviet Union's illegal occupation of them 77 years ago, the statement said, using the Japanese name for the Southern Kurils. Japanese officials made almost no mention of an illegal occupation when Shinzo Abe was Prime Minister. The phrase was dropped from official documents as well, but following the deterioration of Russian-Japanese relations in the context of the situation around Ukraine, the Japanese Foreign Ministry used the term anew in its annual foreign policy report called the Diplomatic Blue Book. In accordance with the decision taken by the Japanese government in 1981, National rallies for the return of the Northern Territories are held annually on February the 7th to commemorate the first Russian-Japanese treaty signed on that day in 1855. Such gatherings are traditionally attended by ministers, lawmakers of both Houses of Parliament, as well as former residents of the Southern Kuril Islands. Far-right groups use this as an excuse to take to the streets for anti-Russian protests, including in front of Russian offices, which are heavily guarded by the police for the occasion. Since the middle of the last century, Moscow and Tokyo have been engaged in talks to reach a peace agreement following the Second World War. The sides, however, have struggled to overcome disagreements over the rights to southern Kuril. After the end of the war, the entire archipelago was incorporated into the Soviet Union, but Japan disputes the ownership of Ituru, Kunashir, Shikotan, and a group of small, uninhabited islands. The Russian Foreign Ministry has repeatedly stated that Moscow's sovereignty over these territories has been enshrined in international agreements and is beyond doubt. In March 2022, the Russian Foreign Ministry announced that Moscow was ceasing peace treaty negotiations with Tokyo due to Japan's imposition of unilateral restrictions on Russia in connection with the situation in Ukraine. Moscow also withdrew from the dialogue with Tokyo regarding having joint economic activities in the southern Kurils and blocked the extension of Japan's status as a partner of the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Organization for Sectorial Dialogue.